Yeah, hi there. Uh, my name is Dr. Michael Platt. Uh, I'm with the Platt Wellness Center in Palm Desert, California. We're going to be talking today about headaches and specifically just more, more related toward migraine headaches and, and another type of headache that very few people have ever heard of, but is probably even more important than migraine headaches. Uh, the thing about migraine headaches, you know, statistically, uh, they say there are about 40 million people in the United States that have these headaches. And, and of these 40, uh, 40 million people, 75% of them are women in the age group generally between 25 and 40. The, uh, the thing about migraine headaches, you, you know, there are like four or five different types of migraine headaches. And, uh, but it doesn't matter what type of headache that we're talking about. Ideally, you know, you want to treat the cause. Now, when it comes to migraine headaches, other than food allergies, uh, you know, that can precipitate these headaches, very little is known about what really causes them. The, uh, the types of foods are, you know, red wines, aged cheeses, um, the uh, chocolate. Uh, and so, so there, obviously, a, a migraine headache due to food allergies are easy to prevent. Um, but there's another type of headache that's always mistaken for a migraine headache, always. And it's called occipital neuritis. And it, it arises from the uh, occipital nerve sheath at the base of the skull. And very often the pain shoots straight forward right into the back of the eye or goes along the side of the head. And it causes excruciating headaches. And it can cause a visual field defect, um, just like you know migraines. It can cause nausea and vomiting, just like migraines. Um, and it's very easy to diagnose. All you need to do is, is put your thumb at the base of the skull where the occipital nerve sheath is and press. And if it's tender, then you're dealing with occipital neuritis. Um, I've seen a lot of patients with this type of headache, and, and they're always, always told that they're migraine headaches. Now, there's another type of um, headache, uh, which is called um, a, <clears throat> a menstrual migraine. And the, uh, the nice thing about menstrual migraines, they're caused by estrogen. And you can actually eliminate a menstrual migraine uh, in about three minutes with the use of a 5% progesterone cream. You apply it on the forearms, row the two arms together, you put some cream across the forehead, three minutes it's gone. So, but aside from, but that's probably the only type of migraine headache that is easily fixed. Um, now, the thing about occipital neuritis, um, again, why it's important to diagnose this is because not only is it <laughs> easy to eliminate, but it's easy to prevent. And, and the reason I say that, there's only one cause for it. And the cause for uh, this type of headache uh, is excess adrenaline. And interestingly, adrenaline um, not, you know, causes a lot of tension in the back of the neck. So very often, this type of headache is associated with tinnitus, which is also caused by muscle tension in the back of the neck. So, um, and the thing about um, the... Um, <laughs> What's nice about occipital neuritis, just like menstrual migraines, is that, again, it's eliminated with the use of a 5% progesterone cream. And here, the cream will be applied to the back of the neck. And probably within about 5 or 10 minutes, uh, not only will that get rid of the ringing in the ears, but will also get rid of the headache. The, um, so, uh, I would, I would you, know, you, you know, they estimate that, that, you know, again, that there are 40 million people with these with uh, migraine headaches, but I think that the majority of these headaches are actually occipital neuritis. So it's an important distinction to, to make because, like I say, this is an easy uh, headache to get rid of. If people have any questions, they can always call my office, 760-836-3232. My, uh, my website is uh, www.platwellness.com. Uh, I write about occipital neuritis on my book called Adrenaline Dominance, which is available either on my website or on Amazon. And it talks about all the conditions related to excess adrenaline and, um, that are unknown, like occipital neuritis, um, things like fibromyalgia and IBS. So <clears throat> I would recommend that people with excess adrenaline read the book. I think they'll find it very interesting. So um, the, uh, so I think that, um, you know, it's such a vast 
field, this whole thing about headaches. You know, I only mentioned a few few of the different types of headaches, but um, but like I say, it it all depends on what causes the headache, because in order to eliminate it, you have to treat the cause, and that that should do it. Thank you.